was it was like not even direct and listening to yourself and not doing what other people expect you and then you act from you just acting in that moment. Welcome to Changemakers. My name is Leanna Martins, and I am so happy to interview my coach, Heather Scott of Green Orchid Coaching. So Heather does um, organizational coaching prime, well, honestly, like organizational coaching, I use this because that was something I needed. I have ADHD and let me tell ya, I was all over the place. And she helps me in more ways than one, but it's really not just organizational coaching because there's a lot of mentorship in that. It's like life, it really does cover the gamut of life and her area of specialization is self-care. Um, so Heather is also an author, um, and you published your first book last year. Would you like to tell us I about did. it? Sure thing. I wrote a book called Dental With You because I was a single mom during most of my kids growing up. And what I discovered partway through my parenting journey is that the more I took care of myself, the better everything was. Mm -hmm. So as I invested in some personal development and some time for me, uh, my kids seemed happier and we were all more connected and harmonious. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I chose to write about, what I was living. Exactly. So what I'm super curious about mm -hmm. is why is this meaningful for you? So what is the impact for you oh, yeah. of Gentle With You? Right. right. So. The reason that I'm really excited about this and can talk about it all day is that I really believe that all of the people who are up to big things, as soon as they're up to something big, it's so important for them to have the chance to solidify that foundation for themselves. So you're up to big things and you deserve to have that foundation of care for yourself, health and well-being, peace of mind when you want it you have the power to create that. You know it. It takes courage to look at yourself. It does. And see where you might benefit from something or open. So I love working with people who are open. So one of the biggest things that I'll just say that I believe that you have to be to really make the relationship work well is you've got to have a level of self-awareness. You have to be humble. I've got to be able to look at. So when I talk to Heather and I'm like, what's the latest thing that I've fallen on? That I we start with celebration. Yeah, we start with celebration for sure, but I'm just like, so humility, I want to give an example of humility. Okay, I'll give you an example of humility. So, at the end of our last coaching session, this actually was, it was like not even direct, but I had to share it with her. I had the level of self-awareness where I was like, oh my God, I think that I am still, I'm 44 years old, I have been going to my son's soccer, I've been seeking approval from this group of women that I still looked at like when I was 13, 14, 15, like I was poor, I was black, I was worthless. I believe that in the life that I grew up in because that was my experience. And as much growth as I've done, I'm 44 and I'm still looking to these women on the sidelines to be included. I wanna go sit with them. I want them to make a spot for me. I want them, when I hear them talking, I want them to be like, hey, come run with me. Or hey, come watch Netflix. And then I'm like, what I really realized, I'm like, I don't even want that. I don't want to go watch Netflix on a Friday night. I have zero desire to do that. But there was this unconscious part of me and that's what requires humility. So I had to be willing enough to admit my weakness. I had to be willing enough to admit my fallibility and bring that to the table with Heather. So it requires a level of self-awareness and humility mm -hmm. to be able to grow. And I think humility is one of the foundations for growth to really mm -hmm. be able to make actional change. Actual well, change. I, I completely agree. And as much as I talk about self-care, what happened was I published at the end of October, beginning of November, and I was so burnt out by the time I published. Right. And it was so ironic. And it's the opposite of what you're I'm teaching. Like, oh, <laughs> now I need to be gentle with me and relax and care for myself for a couple weeks. Because people, there was a group of women who were so supportive of me and they were like, you could do this and this and this. I was like, I'm so tired and I need to rest. And right. And how do you know when to push and how do you know when to fall? To, to so there's humility in me having to say, I actually need to take a minute and yeah. be with me. And Help. One of the things, right when I was naming this book, something happened and he said, oh, I fell down the stairs in my house. <laughs> he fell down the stairs? That was stairs? not self-care at all. Yeah, I slipped and fell. Oh, I no. didn't even spill the milk. Like it was crazy. That's impressive. Anyway, 
um, I was slowly making my way back up the stairs and I hadn't shared with the boys that I was naming the book Gentle With You. And my son said, just be gentle. Aww. I was like, oh, that is a good word. Because I think in the world today where there's so many factors, there's so much going on, you know, we're all, well, as a mom, I was trying to get it right. Okay, so which yeah. vaccine and which thing and what should we do? Yeah, we all could use it well, gentle. I agree. Thank you. Mm. I think that there's lots of messages and I think that that reverberates in many, many, many different ways. So tell us what you are up to. What's, what's exciting for you right now? What am I up to? Yes. I am taking on more private clients who mm -hmm. have identified that they're open to creating organization for themselves so that they can fit self-care into their lives. Mm -hmm. And that's private and I do some group coaching. Mm -hmm. And then I also have formed a group uh, co-created with someone who actually is in the Mediterranean. So Ooh, I'm hoping to do an cool. on-site workshop very soon. Cool. That would be very nice to go. No kidding. Travel there. Uh, so she and I have co-created this thing called Season Synergy. I saw that. And oh, that's on Facebook, correct? It's on Facebook. Yes. And it's a group of people who are interested in creating time and space to explore for themselves as they're shifting from one season to the next, whether that's season in the calendar or season in life. Mm -hmm what they want to intentionally create, what they want to let go of, and what they want to bring up. Mm -hmm. So it's a way of sloughing off what isn't working, yep. releasing what, oh, you know, oh, I've always intended to such and such. And if you finally come to the conclusion, like, I'm never going to do that. <laughs> I don't want to anymore. Or it's just been on the should list. Yeah. Then letting the things go. So there's a letting go, and then there's an intentional creation. And figuring out, you know, and aligning that because it sounds mm -hmm. like it's really going to be an aligning process. What really is important to me, and then how yeah. might I take values that? aligning with values? Yeah, well, connecting with people who are like yeah, enjoying the same concepts, mm -hmm. discussions, mm -hmm. communication. Okay, so that sounds like it's upcoming. Mm -hmm. So if people want to get a hold of you, I would highly recommend. Heather, she's amazing. She's like an invaluable tool in my life. I'm so grateful for you. I love you so much. Oh, so thank much. you so much. It's a pleasure. Uh, you can go to www.greenorchid8.com and also look on the screen. Uh, you'll see her gentle with you handle for Instagram. Thank you.